Hi, my name is David Blattner, and this year I'm speaking at Creative Pro Week on several topics, including turning data into an InDesign document. But data isn't always about spreadsheets or databases. Sometimes it's about pictures. For example, here you'll see I have a folder full of images, and I want to put all of those images into an InDesign document, one image per page. Now, there are actually several ways to do this, but I'm going to share one of my favorites, which uses InDesign's data merge feature, which sounds scary, but it's really easy. I'll show you how. First, let's switch back to InDesign. Now, we need this data merge panel, and you can find that by going to the window menu, choosing Utilities, and then choosing Data Merge. Once it's open, we need to insert some data into it, and we do that with a data file. Well, how are we going to get that data file? Super easy. Let me show you. I go back to the Finder or Windows Explorer, and I'm simply going to select all of these images with a Command or a Control A. Now, on the Mac, all I have to do is do a Command C. That copies the names of all of those files. On Windows, it's a little more tricky. You have to go to the View tab in the Properties thing uh, up at the top, and you have to choose Copy Path. Anyway, it's still pretty easy. Once you've copied those, now you want to go to a text editor. Any text editor will do. I'm using BB Edit on the Mac here, but you could use Text Wrangler or Text Edit or Notepad or anything. And all I'm going to do here is paste Command V or Control V on Windows. And I get that list of all of the files that I had selected, which is great. Now, I need to go to the beginning of that list and add a new line at the top. And that new line is going to say at images. You have to use the at symbol followed by a, a header, any header. I'm calling it images, but you could call it pictures or something else. Now, I'm going to save this text file inside uh, the same folder as the images. You can call it anything you want. I'll call it uh, bunchofimages.txt. And that's it. I have a data file that I can use to import all of those images into InDesign. Let's try it out. We'll switch back to InDesign. And we're going to import that data file into the data merge panel by clicking on the menu in the upper right corner. I'll just choose Select Data Source, and I'll choose that file. If you can see this preview down here and the buttons on the right, you might not have that. That's because I have a, an extra utility on the Mac added on called Default Folder. So just ignore that. You don't need it, but it's a pretty cool utility. Anyway, I'll click Open and it inserts that data into the data merge panel. If you squint, you can see the name of the data file here, bunchofimages.txt, and below it, there's a little icon that says, this is an image, and it says the name of the header, images. If I had typed pictures or something else after that at symbol, that's what would show up here. Now I need to tell InDesign where to put that data inside my file. So I'm just gonna draw out a graphic frame, uh, something like that. Let's go ahead and move that into the middle of the page. And uh, we can format it if we want to. Let's say, give it a black stroke and a, a paper background if I want, something like that. Let's go ahead and give it a, a drop cap. Uh, I'm sorry, a drop shadow. That will be, I mean, you have to put a drop shadow in there, right? Uh, let's go ahead and do one more thing. I want to add a caption underneath here. And the caption is going to be the name of the file. So I'll go to the object menu choose uh, Captions, Caption Setup. Let's move this over a little bit so we can see it. And we can say the name, the metadata is going to be the name of the file. Uh, and you could set this up in various ways if you want to, apply a paragraph style. I'm just moving quickly here, so I'll click OK. And then we'll say Object, uh, Captions, Generate Live Caption. And there we go. It's right down there underneath the file in its own little text frame. Let's make this taller, just so we can see this a little bit better. And I will go to Object Text Frame Options, and I'm going to make this go to the bottom of the frame, just so we can see this. So there'll be an image up here, and then there's going to be a caption down here. Now right now it says, no intersecting link, just ignore that, that's okay. So we have a little template. We've made a template for where the images are going to go. Each image is going to go inside this graphic frame. So to do that, all you have to do is select the frame and then click once on the images field here in the data merge panel. Just click on that and you'll see the name images shows up here at the top. 
That's pretty much it. We're pretty much done. We can check our work by turning on the preview checkbox here, and we can see that, yep, there's the first image. And I'll click on this little right arrow here to go to the next image, and the next image, and so on. Isn't that cool? Okay, I'll turn off the preview checkbox, and now I'm going to generate my final document. I'll do that by clicking in this little icon in the upper right corner, the Create Merge Document icon. Now, there are a lot of controls in here, and I'll be getting into all of those in my session at Creative Pro Week, but for right now, I'm simply going to click OK. That's it. InDesign tells me that no overset was generated. It makes sense. Uh, and I'll click OK on that. And you can see that it created a new InDesign document here and filled each page with an image. Let's open the Pages panel, and you can see all the images in here. And if I click on one of them, it goes right to it. Isn't that amazing? And here, underneath, is my live caption. For each image, it shows up down here with a caption. It's incredible! So, there you have it. Of course, this could have been hundreds or even thousands of images. It would have been a real pain to do this manually, but with Data Merge, it takes just a few seconds. I hope you enjoyed this little tip, and I hope we see you at Creative Pro Week this year for hundreds more tips about InDesign, Photoshop, Illustrator, and more. Learn more at creativeproweek.com. For now, I'm David Blattner for the Creative Pro Network. Well, I hope you liked this video. And if you want lots more tips like this, be sure to check out creativepro.com and subscribe to InDesign Magazine. Thanks for learning with us.